Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. As promised, I'm coming to you with a tutorial on how to print on tissue paper. I had um, some subscribers, um, people ask if I would show how I do other papers as well. So I've got a few things going on here. It's going to be a little bit tricky because my printer is sitting over there. So what I'm going to try to do is bring it closer and I'll have to do some adjusting with my camera arm to see if I can get that in view. Just not uh, Mostly so you can see uh, how my printer loads so that you can kind of go, okay, well that's the kind of printer she has. I don't know how a pr a, a other printers would work or how it would behave. I can only talk to you about how my, my printer behaves. I have the HP OfficeJet 3800, I believe. 3830, excuse me. It is an amazing printer. I have the HP Inkjet, the HP Insta Ink program, and I absolutely adore it. I never have to think about how many pages I'm printing. I never have to think about um, how much ink I have. Like, I just, I always have, I have so much ink right now. It's crazy. So, um, because once they get the pulse on what you use and what plan you have, you never run out. It's just an amazing program. So um, what I've got here is um, I've got some copy paper, which is what we're going to um, tape our tissue paper onto. So that's that's one one piece. And we might save that one for um, for last. So I'm going to put my and these are my glue runners. So this is a glue dot. It's um, that I, I used the last time I did this. This is just a regular glue runner. So um, I have also used like um, clear um, tape, like scotch tape. But the risk that you run with that is if you if you put it around the edge and then you uh, wrap the other side of the tape on the other side, if any of that gum, that sticky part, isn't is is um, touches your printer, it can hurt your printer. So. I would highly suggest you just do the glue runners, and I'll show you the the down and dirty for how I do that um, in just a moment. So actually, we probably will do that first before I have to bring the printer over, but let me talk about what else we're going to do. So I'm going to talk to you about the easiest way to do it and the hard way to do the tissue paper. So we will come back to that. Sorry if that's a little bit, a little bit out of order there, but this is what it looks like on tissue paper. So this is a, a digital from my porch prints. This is the winter garden kit that I'm currently using. And so as you can see, you can see my hand through it. We can see that black through it from this uh, paper pad. So it is an amazing technique, an amazing, and it's not my idea. I actually have learned so much from Sean Petit. She's a mixed media artist. I have referenced her in other videos and in other projects. I was on her design team for a year and I learned so much from her. And so that's where I learned how to do uh, prints on tissue paper. So that's what it looked like. It's what I wanted to show you. The other thing I wanted to show you is how you can print on rice paper. So this is rice paper. It's a very large pad, measures 12 by 18. I basically just take a sheet out of it. I cut it down to size. That being said, you wanna cut your paper and your tissue paper and all of those things and um, down to the size of your paper that's gonna go in your printer or the size of your digital. Because I know some of you use a smaller, I'm in the U United States and so we use eight and a half by 11 paper. I know that that's not the way it is everywhere. So you will wanna think about what, what size your print your digitals are printing on and how you want that image to fill a sheet or not fill a sheet. So this is the rice paper I use. I will link it in the supply list. It is from Amazon. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. It gives you a similar effect in in that it's uh, fairly transparent. This is what this is um excuse me this is um, the rice paper and as you can see it doesn't go all the way through uh, onto the other side, but and it's not completely transparent, but it does give you a different kind of textured paper, which is really awesome. And I know us junk journalers, we really love the the sound of the textiles and the papers and the things that we're using. So I really love it. Um, and it basically, um, when I use it mostly in mixed media, when you use it in a mixed media project, you apply a ton of Liquitex fluid matte medium, and this will will just kind of melt, not melt literally, but 
it kind of becomes one with your substrate, whatever the substrate is that you're working on. And let me show you just transparency here. So you can see the ruler. You see that? So this is a very bright blue ruler. Let me get another object that I can show you, um, like my, my pack of gum. So this is my pack of gum sitting on my desk. And so that is the transparency level. So you can see it is transparent. It's just not as transparent as tissue paper. So it's another option. So um, I, I will um, show you how to do it the same because I had folks ask, with the rice paper, you don't have to um, tape it to anything. I'm able to feed this directly into my printer, just right into the feed tray on the top, which you'll be able to see in a second. You do want to make sure that on all of these items that you're not just feeding in a single piece of paper with tissue paper tape to it or a single piece of, of um, rice paper because the printer gets confused because it's used to a certain uh, weight of paper being fed, you know, coming into those rollers and those feeders. So I put some paper behind it, like when I feed this, these through, I will leave a good stack of paper behind it and then just stick this in the, so it's the front page and it's the first piece that's going to feed through and it, it's beautiful. It, I have never had an issue. I've never had an issue with um, running tissue paper through my printer. It doesn't gum up your printer at all. Um, again, the only thing you want to make sure of is what adhesive you're using. You do not want an adhesive that's going to go outside of the borders of that paper. Otherwise, it could get stuck to the mechanism inside of your printer. Now, that being said, when you um, are, are gluing your tissue paper around the edges here, which I'm going to actually show you, you want to make sure that, um, or you want to be mindful that, let's say this is, our, this is not actually our tissue paper, this is a different piece of paper but you, um, you're going to lose, you're going to put tape around all these edges, you're going to lose that piece of your image. So often that's not a problem, especially when you're using digitals because they often will have a white frame around them when they print anyway. So you just want to keep that in mind. If you've got something really precious around the edges, you just want to be mindful of that, that you're going to lose about a quarter of an inch all the way around your paper because you're going to have to separate, you're going to, when this comes through the printer, we're going to separate, we're going to cut off that edge, that quarter of an inch all the way around, and that's going to release our rice paper from the copy paper. And this is actually a piece of vellum. So I also had somebody ask me, how do you do it with vellum? Same thing as the rice paper. You can feed it through. I just, again, put paper behind it so that it, it, it tricks the printer into thinking there's something heavier being fed through. It just um, helps it to not uh, mess up. I, again, I've never had my printer jam. I've had this printer for two and a half years and I've never had a problem with it. And it was like a $250 printer. So it's it's epic, epic fine. So, so that is the um, vellum. So we're gonna print on that. We've got a piece of rice paper. I, I got an extra one in there. I don't really want both of them. So we're gonna do one piece of vellum, one piece of rice paper, and then I'm gonna show you how I do the um, the tissue paper. So let's get to that before I move the printer over. So what I do, there's a couple of ways you could do it. You could do the painstaking process of cutting your tissue paper down to eight and a half by 11, which again is US paper size. It is tricky because tissue paper is thin. It doesn't cooperate with scissors. It's very difficult. So what I found is easier, which is what I did here. So you could totally do that. I cut this down to a, approximately eight and a half by 11, and but it was hard to do. So I'm gonna keep that because I'll probably use it for something, but I just wanted to show you that. So what I did is I just, this is just gift wrap tissue paper. So just the kind that you would stick in a gift bag. So I'm laying it out here on my mat, and actually I need to fold it a little bit that way so you guys can see this bottom edge. This is tricky with my camera setup, so I'm, I'm gonna do my very best, guys, but it might not be perfect. And I've never done a tutorial like this, so please um, extend some grace to me um, because when we're doing things for the first time on camera, it can be tricky and things don't always go well. So what I like to do, actually, um, I'm sorry, let me back up a second. I'm gonna shift this over out of my way. Uh, and I apologize, it's, af it's right after work, so I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit out of it. So I've got um, three pieces of copy paper. I'm gonna move this way out of the way. I've got three pieces of copy paper. 
that I'm going to be doing because I can get three, um, three pages out of that, um, that tissue paper. I'm going to move the camera up a little bit just so you guys can see the whole view here. Hopefully I can't get them all three on here uh, all the, all the way anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put my glue around this. I'm going to move this back down. I just wanted to see you to see the size of that. You know, you're, you're doing a paper that is, you know, 11 inches high and eight and a half inches wide. So it's going to be tricky. So I'm going to use my regular tape runner. I always forget which way it goes. I think it goes that way. So basically, um, you're gonna, I'm gonna get a piece of parchment paper so that I can, um, so that I don't get glue on my mat because you, what the other thing when you're applying this, you wanna make sure that you're not leaving any glue residue on your surface here because then your paper's gonna stick to it and your tissue paper's gonna stick to it and that could be problematic for the result that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and run um, a line of, glue, of tape along this edge. It does, it's not precise at all. You want just enough so that it can grab that tissue paper. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pe these pieces of paper and we're gonna lay them on top of that big one and then we'll cut around it. So I'm gonna just run a, a strip of glue here, or yeah, glue tape, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, that was way over. That's okay, it's an imperfect thing. <laughs> I also did have tried a glue stick, um, that also works. So you could definitely try that. Um, you just have to protect your surface underneath a lot more than you would in this case. So, uh, so there we go. And I'm gonna don't have any glue on there or any tape on there. I want to make sure nothing sticks where I don't want it to. This is a strange runner, so I always get confused about which way it goes. So and I, I can't do it straight to save my life. So again as as all the things I talk about, nothing perfection is not is not that important. Uh, in this in this instance so and I do feel that I've got a little bit of glue hangover here glue hangover <laughs> uh, I guess us junk journalers could say that right you get glue hangovers um, so but we'll be we'll resolve that when we cut the tissue paper away we cut the tissue paper down to size that'll probably resolve itself so I'm gonna go ahead and do this last side and I'm going to speed up through doing the other the other two pages, and then I'll come back to you when we're ready to cut it out. The glue runners, I don't like glue runners, but I don't like glue sticks either. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this. You can see I've got some globs of glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pick those off just so we don't have a bunch that we don't want, like so. And however precise you want your result to be will determine what technique you use, okay? So let me set this one aside. I'm gonna make sure I don't have any um, glue on here because that will be a problem with our right, our um, tissue paper. So just rubbing that really good. Seems to be pretty good. We're going to bring our tissue paper back over. And I've got some on my fingers. I'll get rid of that. So we're going to go ahead and do two sheets here and then one sheet at the top. So I'm going to put the two ones that we use the glue runner on the bottom here. So you're just basically going to place it on here. It does not matter if there's wrinkles. I do try to get it as close. Well, in this case, I'm going to leave a little margin. It's easier to cut around it if you've got a little bit of, of um, more space around your paper. So I'm just going to give that a good press. I, I'm not. I'm trying not to affect these edges too much because I don't want to damage the tissue paper. I could easily tear that. So. And then um, this is our other tape one that's sticking to my table <laughs> to make a mental note to clean that before I go do something else. So we're going to put the other one here. Give it a good press. Again, I do have some glue here on this edge. 
but um, it should be okay. I think I have a gummed eraser that, let me grab my gummed eraser and see if that will, um, if I can get that off. Yeah, so um, that might, you don't want to, again, you want to be careful what residue you're leaving. So I'll show you when we get to that point that when I put this in my printer, I'm going to put it tissue side up. So that means this paper is going to actually be touching the back of my printer or the page behind it. So we'll have to, we'll have to kind of examine this and see. I haven't had that kind of an overhang before, so that's kind of strange. So I'm going to turn this this way. Oh no, we're not going to get three out of this. Huh. Bummer. I thought we could get three out of this. Or can we? Oh yes, we can, if we're careful. Ooh, it's close. <laughs> Let's just do it though, okay? We're going to do it. There we go. So I'm going to just press that down. And then we're going to go ahead and cut these cut these out and I will um, speed that up or cut it out because you guys know how to cut. So be right back. And this is the final one. Um, I don't know if you're noticing uh, as I'm using my guillotine uh, cutter here, I am not being gentle and I'm giving it a very quick action because then it's going to, now that I'm back and talking, I'm going to go ahead and turn, move that is do it very, very fast because then it doesn't struggle with the tissue. So see how it got the whole thing? I'm going to have to clean this edge though because I've got some stickiness on there. But this is a really quick way to do it. Well, that didn't work very well. It's okay. Whoops. Everything's flying away. Okay. So... And then on another note, you do have to feed these in one at a time. So like you can't put five pieces, I found, you can't put five pieces of vellum in your printer and then just run it like you would regular paper. You have to feed them in one at a time. I haven't had success doing it any other way. So, and I am going to trim, make sure that all these edges are okay. I'm going to rub, make sure I don't have any adhesive. I'm rubbing on the copy paper side of this. I don't think it's a problem if there's a little bit, but we want to make sure there's not anything major. Okay. I think that's probably good. So that's our, that's one, um, this one, and that was our glue stick one. So keep that in mind. This is our tape runner one. I don't feel any adhesive on the edges there. And then here is our other one. This is another um, tape runner one, and it doesn't have any stickiness. So let me move on to the next phase. This is so exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do some shifting here. I need to move my printer over so that you guys can see. So it's going to get a little crazy. I'm warning you. And so I'm going to just kind of scooch this over here. And hopefully I can turn my, my camera a little bit so you can see. So, oh, this is a problem because I'm going to lose my microphone. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover on this part because I only have two USB ports and I need to be able to plug my printer in to the, maybe I don't have to plug it in. Let me try something really quick. Sometimes it runs on Wi-Fi or without, um, uh, connection and other times it doesn't. So hold on. So, oh, it's going to. So that's awesome. So it, I'm just printing out one image on a regular uh, piece of paper, and I I realize you probably can't see me. I don't know what you see because I've never done this before. So I apologize if it's weird. This is the only way I can do it, though. Okay, so that's beautiful. It is printing out. Lovely. Oh, it is printing something here. Looks like it's printing a whole sheet. But, yep, and it's printing it on the tissue side. Okay, I am back. The other video just ended when I paused it and went to the digital. So, that may happen. I might just have to cut and splice this video to make it work. So, um, but this is my printer. And so I've moved it under the camera as best I can. This is my feeder tray. So it feeds from the top. So we're going to try again. It didn't want to feed that second piece of tissue paper in. 
I'm not sure why. So I'm going to try again. I'm just sliding a bunch of paper behind it. And then I'm going to slide that in there. And I'm just going to make sure it's nice and snug there. And we're going to try to print again. I'm hoping this is going to work. Oh, it's pulling it through. Come on. There we go. It's working. I promise you guys, it's really not this hard. I don't, you know how things go when you're trying to do a video? Never works right. So sometimes my printer just needs to be turned off and repowered on. So hopefully this is going to do it. So that's, um, this is the first tissue paper that we did and show you that. And this is the tissue paper side. And I'll show you that when we pull it off. And then here comes the second sheet on the tissue paper. So you will have to, if you're playing with this, you're going to have to play with your printer and see how it behaves. As long as you keep it adhesive out of the way, you're not going to damage your printer. So I can promise you that. So this is just about done. And then we're going to go ahead and do a piece of the um, vellum as well as requested. Just so you guys can see that. So this is the second page. Beautiful Paris Rose kit. Oh, so you can see this is the paper side. And I don't know if you can tell that this is the tissue, but I'll show you in a second. So now let's go ahead and do the vellum. And I'm hoping that I don't lose you here. Just setting up another print here. The vellum is super easy. You just have to put it in there. Again, make sure that there's paper in there so that it, it the printer knows that there's something heavy, heavy enough going through. So come on, printer. There we go. It's pulling it right in, as you can see. It's just a beautiful thing. So that is the vellum. I'm just doing all the same print just for the sake of ease here. It does seem to be feeding the vellum through a little bit slower than the other paper, which is interesting. I've never noticed that before. And then the next one we're going to do, and the last one is going to be a piece of this rice paper. I don't know if you guys are able to see that. I can't see what you're seeing. <clears throat> and I'll show you all these here in a second. And I'll also show you how I pull them apart. It's just about done here. And I'm just again printing the same page just because I don't want to flub anything up. And the rice paper, it's not, it doesn't have any stickiness to it or anything. It doesn't matter which side goes in. So I just feed that again in and then just give it a little tap just to make sure it's lined up with the, the top and the edges of this paper. So we're going to go ahead and print that print again. There we go. And then here she goes. So just watch this. This is where you're going to see that it's going to feed just quite naturally. It doesn't even hesitate. Pulling the, the rice paper down. Uh-oh. <laughs> is it? It sounds weird. Why are you sounding weird in there? <laughs> That's strange. It's, it's feeding through just fine, though just got a kind of an odd sound. Oh, it caught one of the corners. Not a big deal. I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to move the, the, um, the printer out of my way here and then we'll get back to so you can see my work surface here. Yeah, it just got caught. Not a big deal. The printer might not be very happy with me right now, so <laughs> making it do somersaults here. I think I can close this now. Hopefully you guys are still with me. You are. Thank you. Okay, so 
I'm going to set that aside. Let me move this printer really quick. Just going to get it out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and get myself situated. Didn't realize my ring light is on on my camera here. Let's turn that off. Okay, there we go. So let's get back into position here. So let's see what we have. <clears throat> so this is the um, this is the one that just got stuck. So again, that's not a fail. It's just I don't know what was going on in the printer. It could just be a defect in the piece of paper. I don't know. So, um, but again, you can't really. It's hard to see with the rice paper the how transparent it is, but you can see the ruler behind it. Can you see that? Or what was what was I doing before that? My phone. Can you see my phone? Not really. So. It might depend on your print too, how transparent it is. This is a pretty colorful paper. So that is our uh, rice paper. This is our vellum, crinkly vellum. And as you can see, the vellum doesn't really, you can see this, see through this, but it doesn't really affect the other side. Often I will feed this back through my printer, turn it around and print something else on the back. Not a, not a competing print, but maybe some script or something. Um, and then you've got something on both sides, but this is that beautiful um, vellum paper that I've used um, over and over again. So these are our two images on the tissue paper. So I don't know if you can tell, it probably just looks like normal paper, right? But we're gonna go ahead and trim off these edges and you can see with this one, we really have about a half of about a quarter of an inch there. I'm gonna go in a little bit further just to make sure that I Cut all that adhesive off. The risk that you take with this is that you could lose a little bit of your image, but um, in my opinion, it's worth the risk because the, the product of this process is amazing once you get used to it. When I first started doing it, it was really hard. It was not easy. So give yourselves a lot of um, patience to do that. So I'm going to trim the bottom here as well. Hopefully I have enough. Often if you can release part of it, you can kind of wiggle and jiggle and get the, the whole of it off. So let's see if we've got, so here you can see it's releasing. It's sticking a little bit up here. I just use my finger gently and just kind of pull, 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 pull. And one final time that's really sticking so in theory you could go back and cut that a little bit more if you didn't want to risk tearing your paper but for the purposes of today we're just going to go ahead and just get this released so that is our tissue paper beautiful beautiful transparent tissue paper look at that it's awesome so i don't think i really need to show you the other one it's the same process you're just going to cut the edges off and then release your, your um, paper. So whew, that tested my, uh, my endurance and my patience. It's really hard to do things on video for the very first time, especially when your setup in the studio doesn't accommodate for that very well. I have just an arm on my camera, so it only has so much flexibility. So, um, but I hope that you enjoyed. If you had any questions, please, please reach out. Um, I might give this another try another day and see if I can find a better setup. I just don't, my my cam, my arm of my camera isn't long enough to come up over um, as well as I would like to, as well as just trying to navigate the, the digital I'm trying to print, get that sent to the printer and all that. Maybe it worked fine. I don't know. I guess I'll see when I do the editing. So again, thank you guys so much. And um, thank you for your support. Thanks for being here and for being an encouragement. And I hope that you give it a try. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.